Everybody, we are now, since we're done with our project, what we're going to do is fast forward to the very end of the unit. And we're going to start at the very end and just, just kind of see what happens. So at the end of every unit, there's a looking back, looking ahead section. There's kind of a review that, en that encapsulates everything that you learned during the unit. I figured since we just did these projects where you found the volume and surface area of cylinders, the volumes of cones and pyramids, and the, the rock star problems that you guys did an outstanding job on. Um, you did that so well working in groups and in pairs that I think that this is going to be the same, have the same effect. You guys will still work together and we'll hit the things along the way today, tomorrow, and Monday and Tuesday with data distributions. So pretty much we're looking at numbers, looking for variability. Um, we'll talk about the definition of variability. Um, look at different data displays, like stem and leaf plots. I know you guys have seen those before, maybe exposed to them in grade school. Um, today is our focus is on stem and leaf plots and how that can, we can use those to identify mean, median, and mode, and look for clusters of data just to, that, that can tell us a story, to give us some information. Cool. Okay. So first thing I want to start off with just to review how to make a stem and leaf plot. Does anybody know what a stem and leaf plot looks like? When, when did you guys, uh, when were you exposed to that? Uh, Go ahead, Janessa. Sixth grade. Sixth grade. Fourth, grade. Fourth grade. So a lot of concepts and visual things that we learn about usually go in circles. You know, we're going, in a, a, it's more like a spiral. So you're going to see it again and again. That's kind of the idea about how we learn. We need to just be exposed to it over and over again until.